Chapter 3 An Introduction to Excel 2016 Excel 2016 is a spreadsheet program. A spreadsheet program works with numbers, text and formulas. It is used for mathematical, financial and scientific purposes. It also contains functions and charts of different types. It is a large worksheet consisting of rows and columns used for calculation and data interpretation. Some of the calculations you can make are 1. Daily wages 2. Runs scored by players 3. The amount of pocket money spent or saved by you 4. Calculating the marks scored in a test Advantages There are several advantages of using Excel, 1. Speed too easy to use. Three formulas automatically recalculate the result when the data values are changed. Four calculations can be done easily and accurately. Five large amounts of data can be handled easily. Six data can be presented graphically through various charts and graphs. Starting Excel 2016. 1. Click on the Start button Go to Excel 2016 or type Excel in search box and click on Excel 2016. 2. The Excel Start screen appears. You can create a new blank workbook, choose a template or access a recently edited workbooks. 3. From the options, click on Blank Workbook. Important Components of MS Excel 2016 Worksheet Quick Access Toolbar It is placed on the left-hand side of the title bar. It consists of frequently used commands and tools such as Save, Undo, Redo, and Chart Quick Styles. It is customizable. Ribbon The ribbon is located below the Quick Access Toolbar and Menu Bar. It contains several tabs and each tab contains various command buttons used for performing a specific task. Each tab is identified with a specific name, like Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review. The ribbon is designed to respond to your current task, but you can choose to minimize it if you find that it takes up too much space. Click the Ribbon Display option arrow in the upper right corner of the ribbon to display the drop-down menu. The MS Excel 2016 has introduced a new tab Tell Me What To Do. This box helps you perform important tasks even if you don't know how to do them. Groups Groups make it easier for making formatting changes to the Excel sheets. For example, Font Group provides all various options related to the font of the text. Preview Live Preview allows you to preview what a given gallery command will do to your Excel sheet, without actually changing it. Workbook An Excel document is called a workbook. A workbook provides sheets that are called worksheets. Worksheet a worksheet represents the working area on the screen. It is the area where the data is entered and the calculations are performed. It is divided into rows and columns. 1. Initially, one worksheet named Sheet 1 is available, but you can insert more worksheets using the Insert Worksheet button. 2. You can rename a worksheet by double-clicking on Sheet 1 box or right click on worksheet name tab go to rename 3 vertical and horizontal scroll bars are used to move within the worksheet rows and columns a worksheet of excel 2016 is a huge worksheet and it is made up of millions of rows and thousands of columns the rows are numbered from top to bottom these are called row headers the last row of the worksheet is the 10,48,576 row. The columns are labeled from left to right and are named A, B, XFD. These are called column headers. The last column of the worksheet is XFD, the 384 column. Cell 
The intersection or crossing of a column and a row is called a cell. For example, the cell A1 is the intersection of column A and row 1. Active cell. A cell with the dark border is called as active cell. To enter data you have to click in the cell and make it active. Cell address. The cell address corresponds to the column name and the row number. Each cell has a unique address. For example, B3, C1. Status bar. The status bar is at the bottom of the worksheet window and displays the status of the worksheet. On the left side it displays the cell condition ready, enter or edit. It displays different view options like normal, page layout, and page break preview on the right hand side as well zoom slider to zoom in or zoom out the sheet. Formula bar. The formula bar is displayed above the column headers of the worksheet. The formula bar displays the data or formula stored in the active cell. The formula bar can be used to enter or edit a formula, a function or data in a cell. Types of data. In an Excel worksheet, we can input three types of data, 1, numbers, 2, text, 3, formulas. Entering data into a worksheet. Data can be entered in a worksheet by simply selecting a cell and then typing in it. A cell can contain the date related to numbers, text or formulas. Whatever you type, will appear in the cell and in the formula bar. For example, type 200 in cell A1. The formula bar also shows 200. Editing data into a worksheet. As you enter data in a cell, two buttons get activated to the left side of the formula bar. The cancel button is used to cancel data entry. The accept button is used to accept the data entry. You can edit in two ways. 1. Double click a cell or click a cell and edit data in the formula bar or press F2 key. 2. Use delete or backspace key to delete data. 3. To enter a new letter or number in existing data positions, place the insertion point at the required position click and start typing. 4. Press Enter key to accept the changes in a cell. Saving a workbook. After the required data is entered in the worksheet, it should be saved so that you can open it later. To save a file. 1. Click on the File tab. 2. Select Save as or click on the Save button. 3. A dialog box appears as shown. 4. Select the drive in which you want to save it. 5. Select the folder from the drive. By default documents is displayed. 6. Type in the file name, for example, Book 1. 7. Click on Save button in the dialog box. 8. The file will be saved with same name. Did you know? The status bar displays the current status of worksheet. It displays ready when it is ready to accept data from the user, enter when data is being entered in a cell and shows that it on double clicking the cell to edit the data which is already in it. Closing a workbook and quitting Excel. After you have finished and saved your work, you should close the workbook. To close a workbook, click on File Go to Close. To quit Excel, click on the Close button on the title bar. Do you know, in Excel, we can also work without the mouse. There are various shortcut keys using the keyboard. Also, by pressing the Alt key, various options, in the form of alphabets and numbers, appear on the ribbon as shown in the figures. We can return to the previous option by pressing the Escape key.